In this video, I'm gonna show you two different ways to create transparent gradients in Photoshop. All right, so the first type of transparent gradient that I'm gonna show you how to make is one that goes from color to transparent over top of your image. And while we can go over here and add a new layer and then do this little drop down and select this one, which is the foreground color to transparency, and then draw in our gradient like this, the better way to do it, if I just delete that, is to just go down here to this little half circle thing, click on that, and then select gradient right here. That's gonna apply a gradient fill layer and it'll open up this gradient fill dialog box. And just so you know, for a gradient here, it comes up as pink because that was the color that I had in my foreground right here. So if I cancel that and then change this color to something else, let's just say like a blue, and then I went down here and clicked on gradient it would now be blue instead. So before I show you how to change the colors and stuff in here, let's take a look at what else is in this dialog box. So first of all, we can change style. So right now we're on linear. You can change that to radial, which is from the middle out. You can go angle, which is a weird one. It goes like harsh here and then slowly transitions all the way around to the transparency. You can change it to reflected. So it'll be blue, like whatever your color is here to transparency going both ways. And then there's diamond, which is similar to radial, but now it's in a diamond. Now, if I go back to linear, angle is pretty obvious. You can just change the angle that it's gonna go. So it'll just point in the direction that it's gonna go from the color to the transparency. So I can just flip this down on an angle, up, down, whichever way you wanna go. I'm gonna keep it facing up because there's more kind of unimportant stuff going on in my image down here. As for scale, you can click and slide it up and that'll make the transition from color to transparency more gradual. You can see there's even some blue over top of the dog now, but if I scale this back even to here, that'll make the transition much quicker, like more harsh. So if I go down to basically nothing, it's gonna be a really harsh line. So I'm just gonna scale this back up to 100 for now and then Reverse obviously just changes the direction of this in here. So if I click reverse, it's now gonna go transparent to blue and it'll flip it in terms of the direction that this is in. So if I went to radial, for example, originally when I didn't have this, remember it was just a blue like spot there. So most of the time if you're picking that one, you're probably gonna go click on reverse and then maybe like expand it out so that you can actually see the kind of hole in here and create kind of like a vignette effect. Now you can also click on here and move this wherever you want as well. So you can kind of line it up with the dog's face so it's lighting up more here than in the middle like it originally was. And then the only other thing you need to know is dither here. You're gonna click that to make sure that your gradients are nice and smooth and you don't create as much banding. Okay, so now let's go up to gradient and we can see how we can pick different colors in here. But first I'm gonna change it back to linear and uncheck reverse so it's coming from the bottom and I'm gonna scale it back to around 100 and then click and move it down so we're not over top of the dog's face very much. Maybe even scale it back a little bit more. Something like that. Okay, so then I'm gonna go into gradient by just clicking on this. It's gonna open up my gradient editor. And as you can see up top, there's a bunch of presets and stuff, but if we use those presets in this case, they're not gonna go from a color to transparency, most of them. So for example, if I click on this one, it's just gonna cover up what you had there. So I'm gonna go back to basics and click on this one because that was the one that we used at the start. Okay, and then if you go down here, you're gonna see that black, this top one up here, so black means the opacity is 100%, so we see this full color, and a white one over here for opacity means 0%, which means it's completely see-through or transparent. So if I crank this up by clicking on the word opacity and sliding to the right, I can make that one black, which means I'd see the color that's underneath it, but I'm gonna click and slide it to the left so it's transparent. This just changes how the transition happens. As you can see, if I go this way, it's gonna be very quick from like a short distance to get to the, like the halfway point of the transition. And then it's gonna take a long time. It's gonna be gradual to actually get to transparent. I can slide this though and put this like, let's say to the middle and then move the midpoint back to the middle so that this is where the transition is gonna happen and then it's gonna be transparent for the whole rest of the way here. So the reason why you do that is so you can actually stop the transition wherever you want and then make the rest of the image so that it's not affected by the gradient. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this back a little bit so it maybe goes to about there 
and that transition looks good. Okay, so as far as colors go to change them, you just click on the box and then click in here and you can pick whatever color you want. So let's go up to that like pink, I guess, and click OK. Then you can also change this one, but this one's gonna be transparent, so it doesn't really matter at this point, but you can add new ones if you want. So if I click underneath this, the gradient, I can add another one and then you can just change that color. So I can come in here and change it to some sort of green, let's say. And then if I add another one in here, I can change that one to, you know, orange and you can see so on that you can just keep adding them. You can move them along to wherever you want. So you can spread this out a little bit. You can cram them in. So all of them are kind of in here where we can actually see them. Another thing you might want to know is how to go from colors on one side and then transparent and then colors on the other. So to do that, you just take this transparent one on the top and move it to the spot that you want the transparency to happen. So in this case, I want it around the dog's face. And then I'm gonna click up top here. And on this white one, I'm just gonna crank the opacity up. And you'll see that I'll add the color that's underneath it on the other side. Now, in this case, I probably wanna move this midpoint over or maybe even move this transparency all the way over so that I kinda of create a big zone in the middle. Maybe I even put another transparent one right here so I can kind of block off this whole section to be transparent. But then I have to figure out how to maneuver this so that it kind of goes over the dog's face instead of like where it is. It kind of cuts it off a bit. So once I get to this point, I probably want to click OK. Oh, and if you want to get rid of a color, just click and drag it out and it's gone or an or an opacity thing here. OK, so I'm going to click OK. But then now I have to either click and drag this to kind of place it where I want or I can maybe scale this up to kind of spread them out. There's a few things that you can do here to make sure that you can line up the transparent zone to where you want it. Okay, so when you're good, just click OK. And then over here, you can decide if you wanna keep the colors the way that they are, or maybe you can go into your blend modes here where it says normal and pick something from here. So just scan through until you see something you like. So maybe Vivid Light makes these colors pop a little bit. And then you can always drop the opacity if you want as well to kind of soften the effect of the gradient. All right, so the second type of transparent gradient that I'm gonna show you how to do is one where the image is actually partially transparent as well. So you can see part of it and then it fades off into transparency on one side. So it's really easy. All you have to do is click on your image, go down here to this box with the circle on it and click on that. That's gonna put a mask on it. Okay, so now when we go to our gradient tool and then click up here on gradient editor, you'll see this window show up, go into basics and pick black to white right here and click okay. Then make sure you're on linear gradient up here, the very first one, and just make sure these things are the same up here. Make sure reverse is not clicked. Then wherever we click, as long as we're on the mask, make sure you're still clicked on the mask. Wherever we click, that's where it's gonna be fully black, which means it's gonna be transparent. And then wherever we end our click, that's gonna be fully back to being visible. So if I click here and drag to here, we can see that this is now transparent and it slowly transitions back to being fully visible right here. The shorter you make your line, the quicker that transition is gonna happen, the more harsh the transition is gonna be. And the longer you make your line, the more gradual that transition is gonna be. One thing to be aware of though, is if I move this image over, let's say, and then I try and do the same thing. So if I go here and try and transition, if you don't have your image right to the edge, you might see the line of your image. So you still might wanna start right there to drag so that you can get rid of that line of the image. A few other things you can do to manipulate your gradient is to choose a different type of gradient. So you can pick maybe radial or diamond or reflected or whatever up here. You can also click in here to go back into your gradient editor, click on one of the blocks right here, one of these two, to see this midpoint diamond thing. And you can just adjust to one side or the other to change how the transition happens. So if I go to this side, you're gonna see that the black so the, the transition from transparent to the midpoint of gray is gonna take a long time, is gonna be very gradual. And then the transition from the midpoint to white is gonna be pretty quick. So if I click here and draw that line in, you're gonna see that this is gonna be very gradual and it's gonna be a little more harsh of a transition right here, like a little bit of a quicker transition. And if I flip that around by clicking here and dragging it to the opposite side, this one's gonna look like this. So really kind of quick here, and then it's gonna slowly fade in over here. 
Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to save your transparent gradient into an image. So you just go up to File, Save As, or you can go Export and Export As, and just make sure you put it as a format to PNG right here, and check Transparency. This should all be fine, and then just click Export, and that will save it as a PNG transparent image, which means that if I delete this layer mask and bring this image over and then go to Place Embedded, you can plunk it onto any other image and you will see the transparent gradient right there. And that's it. That's all I got for transparent gradients. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.